Oh, time for me to be Bert Raccoon, ace detective, sweetheart. <laughs> or better yet, Bert Raccoon, Hollywood movie star. <sighs> this is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Bert Raccoon wakes up. Luckily, he has some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoon. The magic of the silver screen is coming to the evergreen forest. Cyril Sneer plans to immortalize the story of Saskatchewan Smith and the Prism of Zenda in a blockbuster movie. Now, Mr. Knox and Lady Bottom Bottom have kindly loaned Cyril their world-famous prism to help publicize his movie. Do oh, I do hope you're taking good care of my prism. You realize it's been in my family ever since Saskatchewan Smith gave it to my great, great grandmama. Now I'm sure Mr. Sneer's security is fine, honey bunch. Besides, he's insured it. Haven't you, sir? Of course I have. <coughs> we, we'd better get on with this. You were supposed to get piranha. Saskatchewan Smith never waded through goldfish-infested rivers. But, boss, you only gave us ten bucks to buy props. Don't give me cheap excuses. Ahem. Movie lovers everywhere have waited to see the story of Saskatchewan Smith, the man who fought his way through trackless jungles, crossed piranha-infested rivers. They look like goldfish to me. Facing death every step of the way, knowing the slightest mistake would turn him into food for the vultures. Until finally, Saskatchewan Smith discovered the lost city of Tiandor Bat. And there he found the fabulous, priceless gem, the Prism of Zenda. Must have blown a fuse, boss. I'll blow a fuse. Uh, well, Don't get these uh, lights back on. Ouch. Look at the prism. My precious prism. My precious prism is gone, Moxie. <laughs> no, no. Don't fret, my dear. Fudge I'm sure die. Mr. Sneer has an explanation. <laughs> Don't you, sir? Um, <laughs> of course I do. It's a... <laughs> hidden. Yes, that's it. It's been hidden as part of uh, uh, part of the publicity for the movie. And whoever finds it wins a part in Mr. Sneer's blockbuster movie, Saskatchewan Smith and the Prism of Zenda. Wow, a part in the movie? And everyone has the run of Sneer Mansion for 24 hours to find the gem. What? I mean, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna find that gem. I'm gonna be a star! Aha! Here it is! My magnifying glass. Hurry up, Bert. Somebody will find the Prism of Zenda before we get back to Sneer Mansion. Don't rush me, Ralph. A detective's got to be properly prepared. <clears throat> now, let's go find that hidden jewel, guys. <laughs> well, if it's not in the room, somebody must have taken it. 
I don't see how, boss. We were standing guard every moment. Well, where is it then? It's missing, boss. So's your brain. Check out everybody who was in that room. We've got to find it before Knox finds out. Why don't you just tell Mr. Knox, boss? It's insured, isn't it? Do you know what those gougers charge for insurance? You mean you didn't insure it, boss? But, but you told Mr. Knox. I know what I told Mr. Knox. But that means if we don't find it, you'll have to pay Mr. Knox $20 million. Why do you think I'm in such a good mood, bacon breath? Look out, okay, come on, get out of there. Ah! I look behind that desk. Come on, come on. No, let me get in there. Go on, get don't jump! Okay, everybody, onward! Yeah, let's follow him! Hey, Mr. don't let him get away! There's gotta be hairs about somewhere. Is it in here, Cedric? I told you, Bert. I don't know where it is. What do you think you're doing? Looking for the prism of Zenda. Well, it's not here. Get out of my office, you ring-tailed snoops! Okay, Mr. Sneer, but Bert Raccoon, ace detective, is not gonna give up. Okay, to the library, men. <laughs> Why did you have to tell everyone they could have the run of the mansion for 24 hours? They're driving me crazy! Didn't you hear me? I said get out and stay out! Mr. Sneer! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Lady Baden-Baden. Come in, come in. What can I do for you? Well, Mr. Sneer, I'm just a teensy bit concerned about my prism. After all, there are a lot of uh, common types running around your mansion looking for it, and I know it's all publicity for your movie, but I just want to make sure it's safe. It is safe, isn't it, Mr. Sneer? Safe? <laughs> of course it's safe. Uh, um... As a matter of fact, it's, uh, in the safe. Yes, that's it. It's in the safe. <laughs> I thought the prism was hidden somewhere in the mansion. Uh, no, I mean, uh, yes. Um, there is a gem hidden in the mansion, but it's a fake. The real prism is in the vault. <laughs> it wouldn't do to leave the real prism lying around. It might go, uh, uh missing. <laughs> I told you Mr. Sneer had things well in hand, my little turtle dove. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'd be even more relieved if I could see my prism. But it's, uh, in the vault. Then kindly lead the way to the vault, sir. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if someone stole the prism of Zenda. I mean, after all, it is priceless, isn't it? It's the sort of thing people like to steal. <laughs> but of course, if somebody had stolen it, I'd get it back. Honest. <laughs> oh, what a nice vault you have, Mr. Sphere. Uh, where's the prism? It's, um, in the safe. Then, uh, open it, sir. Uh, I've forgotten the combination. Oh, 12, 14, and 33, boss. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. It won't open. Well, don't you remember, boss? You told us to set the time lock. You can't open it for another eight hours. Did I? Of course I did. How could I have forgotten? Well... I suppose you might as well leave, right, Knox? Hmm. I think we'd rather wait till you open the safe. Wouldn't we, dearest? Wouldn't hear of it. It's damp down here. Why don't you get out? I mean, <laughs> go out uh, to dinner. I'll, I'll buy. Well, I am feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> there is that new restaurant that just opened. Shea Pricey. It's settled then. Dinner's on me. Now that's mighty neighborly of you, sir. We'll return for the prism of Zenda in eight hours. I'll be uh, looking forward to it. Eight hours, sir. Ah, finally, a little peace and quiet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on, onward. 
Where does a man have to go to get some privacy in his own house? Oh, no! Are the eight hours up already? Mr. Sneer, I believe it's time for us to have the prism of Zender. Um, of course. Care for a sandwich? I made it myself. No, thank you, Mr. Snell. We had a delightful meal at Shea Pricey. Oh, uh, the bill came to a measly $350. Not including the tip, that is. Why, there's nothing in this safe, Mr. Snell. There isn't. You're right, uh, Lady Button Button. I, um, uh, had the pigs take the gem to the, uh, cleaners. The cleaners? The gem cleaners. <laughs> it was dirty. Nothing worse than a dirty prison. Let us <laughs> know where this gem cleaner is, sir, uh, and we'll stop by and collect the prism. Hmm. Uh, can't. I... I don't know which one the pigs took it into. Well, there can't be that many gem cleaners around. You'd be surprised. Well, my dear, I suppose we're gonna have to wait right here this time. Nonsense! Waste of time! Why don't you go, uh, shopping? Look at that old rag you're wearing. Get a new one! Here, take my credit card. Oh, well... No, no, I won't hear another word. I insist. I get lost. I, I mean, run along, kids. <laughs> oh, I do love shopping. Sometimes I just lose all control. We just saw Knox and Lady Baden Baden, sir. What happened? I put them off for now, but things are getting out of hand. You'd better tell the truth, boss. Don't be ridiculous. I'd better find a better lie. And you three had better produce that gem. But we've checked everyone, and we've looked everywhere, sir. Well, look everywhere else. Where's my sandwich? I've told you a hundred times, Bert. I don't know. We've been all over this place, and it's just not here. It's got to be here somewhere. I mean, it just didn't fly away. That's it! It's a trained parrot! The parrot took the gem. It must be up there in the rafters. If we don't find that gem, you know what the boss will do to us. It doesn't bear thinking about. The bears! There was a butler bear standing right beside us when the lights went out. He must have taken it. Well, everything's in front of you, and everything is me. I'm just trying to understand and help you. It's time that you believe in life like it believes in you. And talking about believing uh, uh, in the latest cause is true. I feel we're missing it. There are so many signs. Why are we missing it? There are so many signs. Wow. When it's so hard to find, can't keep on missing it. So much for that. There must be some way we can help the boss. Maybe there is. Wow. Hmm. Well, oh. that's it. We've looked everywhere. Yeah, I guess we might as well give up. Anybody want to go fishing? It's all Knox's fault. He shouldn't have loaned me the prism of Zender. Here's your credit card, Mr. Sneer. Oh, it's all worn out. Yes. I got a little carried away. I had to rent a truck to take everything home. Has the prism of Zender come back from the cleaners? Well, uh, the fact is, uh, the gem cleaners was robbed. Oh, <laughs> my prism! It's gone! Oh, Moxie! Oh, my <laughs> prism's gone, my now, baby! don't fret, my dear. It's insured. Right, Mr. Sneer? I'll get it back! I promise! I've got my best agents on the job. The, uh, Pigerton Agency. They'll find it. We got it, boss! We got it! Good work, men! I knew I could count on you, Mr. Sneer. You're a man of your word.
I'm right. Oh, I find I'm terribly fatigued by all this excitement. Take me home, dearest. Oh, certainly, my little posy. Thanks again, Mr. Sneer, for everything. <laughs> what? He didn't even notice. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, fake, boss. Uh, we just made the gym. <laughs> a fake? Oh, no! When Knox finds out, I'll be ruined! Oh. I'll bet you'd like to see your old buddy Bert Raccoon be a movie star, wouldn't you, Cedric? Uh, sure, Bert. Then why don't you tell me where your pop hid the prism of Zenda? I don't know, Bert. Oh, come on, Cedric. You can tell me. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Cedric. I'll get him. Wait a minute. That's it, Cedric. I know where the prism of Zenda is hidden. I suppose you're all wondering why I called you here. Get on with it! I, Bert Raccoon, Ace Detective, am about to reveal the whereabouts of the Prism of Zenda. We know! We know! Hurry up! Triumph is to be savored, Mr. Sneer. Now, let's review the facts. Do we have to? One. The gem disappeared in the dark, but the lights were off for only a few seconds. And when the lights came back on, the pedestal was still rocking as though someone had bumped it. So it couldn't have gone far. Two, everyone has looked everywhere a gem could be hidden, except one place. Where? Where? Cedric. Your spectacles, if you please. Notice how glass is almost invisible underwater. So? The same is true for crystals. Crystals like... The Prism of Zenda! Oh. The contest is over. Everybody, get out of my house. Hey! What about my starring role in your movie? The movie's off. I never want to hear about the prism of Zenda again. I'm sorry, Bert. I thought you were brilliant. You deserved a part in the movie. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. But mark my words, Ralph. One of these days, one of these days, Bert Raccoon's gonna be a star! I can't believe that ring-tailed reject actually found it. Anyway, now you can tell Mr. Knox you've got the real prism. Are you out of your microscopic mind? If I tell him I gave him a fake, he'll never trust me again. Well, what are you gonna do, boss? We are going to put it back, and Knox won't know a thing about it. <laughs> Isn't breaking and entering illegal, boss? Of course it's illegal, but Knox will never find out. Now let's get started. Yeah. Okay, the coast is clear. Come on. Here, Here we, we are, boss. Where'd you come from? The gate was open. Be careful. There are pressure pads on the floor. If we step on them, the alarm goes off. Those are laser beams. Touch one of those and you're going to be roast pork. If you break any of those beams and the alarm goes off, our great-grandchildren will be visiting us in prison. Aha! Now let's get out of here before we wear out our welcome. Quiet! 
Sorry, boss. <laughs> You've done it, you brainless excuse for a burger! <laughs> Evening, Knox. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Sneer? It's not what it looks like, Knox. Oh, he's got the prism of Zenda. No, you don't understand. I was returning the real prism. <laughs> it's down on the pedestal. You've already returned it once, sir. I gave you a fake, Knox. The real prism was lost. I didn't want to tell you, so I gave you a fake. But you see, I gave you a fake. <laughs> you don't think I would have trusted you with the real prism of Zender, do you? <laughs> the real one was right here all the time. I mean, after all, it is priceless. You mean I had a fake all along? That! is the real prism. And you've been caught red-handed stealing it, sir. Oh, no! Who'd have believed it? Cyril Snare in jail for jewel theft. Pop claims it was all a misunderstanding. If he told the truth about losing the prism of Zende in the first place, he wouldn't be in jail now. I know, I know. Aren't you worried about him, Cedric? Not really. I talked to Mr. Knox, and I'm sure Pop will be out in a few days, a as soon as the story gets straightened out. Besides, Pop's been working so hard lately, I think the rest will do him good. I'm innocent, I tell you! Innocent! The pigs put me up to it! It's all their fault! I'm innocent! Innocent! Innocent, I tell you! Some blockbuster movie this turned out to be. Cyril shot at Hollywood ended up costing him a fortune. Even though I found the prism of Zender, I lost the acting role of a lifetime. <laughs> Will I ever recover? Darkness falls, leaving shadows.